welcome to MTDC NC India. Today we are here at Philips Education booth at Imtech Show, and I am here with my friend Rakshit, who is the president of the company. Thank you, Rakshit. Thank, thank you for you. your time. Thanks a lot. So please tell tell me about the Philips Education through the people who don't know about the company. Please elaborate in detail. So Philips Education is a is a company, or you can say a platform, which essentially does skilling, uh, training, and certification of uh, candidates and students, so that they can find jobs in uh, new sectors of manufacturing and new technologies like CNC, 3D printing, robotics, IoT. And now we are getting into new sectors like aerospace, defense, chips, semiconductors, renewables, because that's where the market is growing, that's where the jobs are, that's where the country wants to produce their own uh, products over here, and that's where the skilled manpower is lacking. So we are awesome. focusing on that. I think you are solving the biggest problem in India because we have a really good young generation Correct. but there is a skill gap Yes. and you are helping to fill that skill ga Correct. gap and you are doing a great service to the nation. Thank you. Hats off to you. Thanks a lot. So can you please elaborate what are the milestones for the company till now? So the biggest milestone that we track internally is uh, the job placements, right? So no amount of training, no amount of skilling is complete without students finding the job. And to our, uh, you know, good fortune or our credit, uh, all our students have found jobs uh, till now. So uh, we started with the Center of Excellence in Uttarakhand. Uh, we've completed a full year over there, and all the 100% students have passed the uh, uh, certification program, and they are all placed in great companies all over the country. So Amazing. we feel very good about that. Uh, the second big thing that we did was to do renewable energy center of excellence uh, that is running in Pune. And again, uh, we are uh, going to be training about 300 students, of which the first batch has passed out and they have found job with JSW Energy. Fantastic. So, talking about the COE, can you please elaborate, because people who are listening to this, how COE can help them, uh, you know, fill their skill gaps? Okay. So, a COE stands for Center of Excellence. A Center of Excellence is nothing else but a complete platform where we bring machines, uh, we bring the software, uh, we have our own curriculum, our own textbooks, our own trainers, okay. our own certification uh, process, and then we also connect uh, the students after getting certified to the employers. So essentially, nice. if a government is partnering with us or even a company is partnering with us, uh, they don't really have to do much. They have to just tell us that we need 1,000 trained people in a year in this particular technology, and uh, with the joint funding program that we run, uh, everything else we are able to do. So it's a it's a modern lab uh, which has all these things brought by us and we have worked very hard and tirelessly on solving for each and every part of it so that uh, the government or the company does not do anything or does not have to do anything except they have to support us and they have to give us a mandate basically. Brilliant. So I mean this is a very good initiative you have taken. So uh, can you, uh, I also got to know that you are also working in energy sector. Yes. Can you please elaborate your collaboration with the JSW Energy? So we basically, will, we, we constantly look at new technologies and new areas where the job creation is happening in India. So when we hear Make in India or Atma Nirbhar Bharat, we don't think that this is just some kind of a saying by the government. We are actually experiencing that the government is serious about it. So when it comes to renewable energy, essentially renewable energy is supposed to grow two or three times in the next five years. And the reason is the government of India has promised that uh, to the world that we will not be dependent on fossil fuel, which is petrol and diesel and oil and coal only, which we are right now. We are 90% dependent on that yes. and 10% renewable. This proportion has to change to 50% renewable by 2030. Yes. So imagine the growth that has to happen in renewable energy. Now you can still buy those batteries or solar panels or windmill towers, but where will you get the people Absolutely. to do the commissioning, to do the erection and to maintain it, right? That's where we thought that since the foundation of any of this is still mechanical and electrical background, which is the core of manufacturing, with that and fine tuning a little bit on the top end, we can train for that. And that's how we got into the windmill. We will add solar, we will add batteries and EVs very soon to that. Amazing. I'm, you know, really happy with your vision because I know renewable is the future. Right? Yes. And government is also invested, whole world is invested yes. in this because of the climate change and all. So I mean hats off to you, you are doing a really good job for yourself because it's a very big market yes. for you. Plus also you are helping in the nation building, right, where you can, if India is going towards, you know, green energy, 
it helps us cut our bills import bills for oil and gas and also you are generating jobs yes you're not only educating the people you are helping them in getting jobs as well yeah i mean this in is in fact in fact the one very big thing that we have realized during this process is that some of the students who are typically from technical institutes like itis and polytechnics their family income sometimes it ten, is 10 to 12000 a month mm -hmm. and most of these uh, young students of 19 20 21 year old after our three month program are able to get salaries of 25000 per wow. month and it's not just uh, end it's a start because once they are part of the skilled labor force the salaries will keep going up so yes. it's a life changing event for the entire family by just doing a three month intervention program that we help so i mean amazing. that is it it takes basically amazing yeah. amazing so i mean i think uh, market is very big you are doing great job lot of you know skill gap is there so what kind of challenges you are facing and what kind of opportunities you see the challenges i would say uh, is the delay in decision making sometimes by the government right i mean they want to do it but because of the paperwork because of the bureaucracy because of the funding challenges sometimes it takes time right we don't have time we have a very large fleet of people we have a lot of opportunity we have companies we bas which basically needs to start manufacturing they need the skilled manpower we get requests from the companies that i need 100 per batch can you send us we don't have that many uh, classrooms and labs and coes right now right so i think the government and uh, the decision making can be faster that is a challenge opportunity is immense because i think uh, if you see aerospace and defense earlier we were not manufacturing it ourselves in in india now the uh, defense and aerospace is also going to be manufactured in as uh, in in bangalore bangalore is the aerospace yes. hub of, of, of the right. country so you can imagine the number of skilled manpower that we will need for aerospace defense semiconductors chips renewables the opportunity is immense it's just that the decision making has to be faster i totally agree with you and i hope that uh, all the decision maker who are listening to you or watching this video will come and support you and solve this problem it's a big problem for Hopefully. india and you yes. are doing a great job thank, thank you, you so much. much thanks a lot wish you all the best thank you this. so much thank thanks you. thanks